uh, with the continuing headline that uh, uh, Boris Johnson has indeed landed back in the United Kingdom after flying back from his Caribbean holiday in the expectation, expectation of launching a bid to replace Liz Truss uh, in Downing Street as Prime Minister again, just weeks after he left office in a mire of scandal. I'm delighted now to be joined by an old chum of mine, Stanley Johnson, former member of the European Parliament, environmental campaigner, uh, you know the rest, and, and there he is. Um, why on earth would he want to put himself through that again, Stanley? Well, lovely to be here again, Alistair. Very nice, and I loved your story about the Exmoor ponies. I'm speaking... I'm speaking from Exmoor as I, as I talk to you now. Why would Boris want to do it? Well, because there are things he promised to do, the things the Conservative Party promised to do in 2019 when we won, when won the election. Some of those things have not been done. Some have been done. So he wants to, I think, finish unfinished business. Now, Alice, I'm speaking to you, as I mentioned, from Exmoor. I'm speaking to you actually as a potential voter. I'm about to hold up to you. You see what this is. This says Certificate of Membership of the Conservative Party. It says Stanley Johnson, you are a member, and it's signed, would you believe it, by Boris Johnson, which says Prime Minister and Leader of the Conservative Party. If I look inside, it says you can choose your candidates and vote in the leadership election. I'm really pleased. I look at this and I say, who am I going to vote for? I have no idea whether Boris is going to be a candidate. You perhaps know more than I do. But uh, what I will do is say I am looking for a candidate who will be very strong on environmental issues, will be very strong on the need to bring us back closer uh, to Europe, and will also um, be strong on some of these international issues like uh, like net zero and so on and so forth. So these are the things. These are the things I am looking for. And uh, of course, uh, not everybody is going to meet all these all these requirements. But that's what I'm looking for. And I do believe that Boris on his record meets a lot of that. I would very much like to see him move much closer now. He perhaps is uniquely qualified to bring us back into a proper relationship with the EU than others might be. Well, no, I, I have to say, I, I know no more than you at the moment as to whether or not he, he, he will be running. Um, uh, his former parliamentary private secretary, James Judge, was saying, yes, he's up for it and, and all the rest of it. But we did report a moment ago uh, that Rishi Sunak, um, the guy who many accuse within your party of having uh, stabbed your son both in the back and the front, forcing him out of office, or at least began that process going, has now passed the 100 mark. And a lot of people getting in touch with GB News are saying it's a stitch-up. Do you fear it might be a stitch-up, Stanley? Well, a stitch-up for whom? I, I remember when, when Boris... Uh, Rishi Sunak. Day, it seems only the other day, he made a wonderful image, which was, well, my defenestration is the biggest stitch-up since the buyer cat tapestry. So I don't know what kind of stitch-up we're thinking. Uh, Richie may have a, 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 hundred, a, hundred, a hundred votes, but I think, as you said, there are 367 votes going. Um, who, who knows? There's certainly a scope for one or even two other candidates to be up there in the final three. You said that there was unfinished business, but if 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 Boris does win, uh, and and it, it is crystal clear from and okay, it, it's GB News, so it's slightly self-selecting, but but overwhelmingly that is the the instinct of our viewers and listeners from 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 emails and, and from messages. I go back to my first point. He's still going to have to put himself in the eye of a storm, whether it's the Privileges Committee uh, or, or the rest of it. Uh, if I was him, he's got a fabulous wife. He's got fabulous kids. He can command a huge fee on the after dinner lecture circuit. I just don't see why he'd want to go through all of that again. I think you make the point so tremendously well. With all that, why would he want to go through it again? Because he believes that there are things to do so. Now, I sound as though I'm parroting myself here, but when Liz Truss went talking about growth, 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 I kept on saying to her, come on, talk about sustainable growth, the one such a thing which gives a good economy and a good environment and looks after the future as well. Now, I do believe Boris got that message. And for example, you take you take the energy issue. He was brilliant on Ukraine. That's about the biggest thing you can think of. Do that get these international alliances going and you will bring down the cost 
cost of energy. If you, if, you, if, if you get peace in Ukraine, good heavens, energy prices will drop immediately. So I think he is the man. Yes, there may be all these other temptations, but mm. the, the test of the man here is he's ready to give those temptations up to endure the slings and arrows. You know, I, I won't name these journalists because, you know, we don't throw yep. them out, as you say. But slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Uh, we've got 30 seconds, Stanley. Go on. You've got the form there in front of you. Is it your prediction, one, that your son will put his name forward, and B, do you think he can beat Rishi Sunak in a head-to-head? -head? Well, I think he will put his name forward, and I think he will beat Rishi Sunak in a head-to-head. -head. And I want to say, because I'm now going to reveal this for the first time, when I get my vote, my electronic password, I will be voting for Boris, because I think he will do the things I care about, Europe, environment, peace in our time, and net zero. Stanley Johnson, always a pleasure, genuinely. Uh, enjoy the book. It's called Rowan, all about Exmoor, and you have a lovely weekend down there. Uh, thank you very much indeed.